Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, we'll go ahead and get started. Just a quick update on where the project stands as of uh, this week. Um, they have finished the main line and curb paving on Ashland between B and Buxton. Uh, they did complete the paving around the Justice Center dock area. That would be on the south side of Ashland there in the mid block. Um, the B Street sidewalk ramps uh, have been completed. Uh, and the tree pits on the mid block of Ashland uh, were surveyed out and filled, I believe, earlier this week. Um, the B Street connections of the existing sidewalks were done. And then the uh, B Street intersection was actually, I believe, was supposed to be opened up late yesterday afternoon. Um, so I'm assuming that happened. I haven't been out there to double check that, but I know getting that intersection open was pretty important just to continue to try to open up some of those north-south uh, connectors to the square that we've had closed for a good part of this summer. So uh, things are happening this week. Um, the seat walls uh, and all the planter beds uh, will go in on that mid-block of Ashland. That's something that needs to be done before we get to sidewalk construction. Um, the the north again we mentioned the curbs and gutters on Ashland I believe that was all finished up this week. Um, we did get that intersection of B Street and Ashland Oakland and then starting today we're actually going to be moving to sidewalk construction um, on that mid block of Ashland. The uh, first point that is going to uh, take place uh, this week and then probably just a little bit into next week is the eastern half of that block of Ashland. So essentially from the zoo bar uh, to the alley, that's uh, one of the blocks as we've talked just, uh, we had to move kind of fast on that one with little notification. And for those businesses that will be affected by it, um, there were hardly any, uh, really the only one that was uh, Mason Onikirk's law firm and he was good moving forward as quick as we could on that one. So we started with that one and then we have given notifications, I believe, um, to all the businesses in some way, shape, or form then on the west half of that alley. I know um, Groggy Dog and Lulabelle, I reached out to them via email yesterday, and we're going to try to meet with them today to kind of go over that plan. Uh, but really on that uh, west half of that block, um, there's going to be sidewalk construction that takes place uh, roughly for two weeks starting on Monday. Um, is where those effects will come in. And that's just as we've talked to some of those business owners in there and just, you know, trying to uh, really line up how that's going to work out to make sure that we can keep some people open. Um, and and uh, just with some of the way that the, the construction works out, really, we've got to do that there in two phases. So um, again, I know we've talked to just about everybody on that, but I think we're going to try to wrap up those final discussions here yet today with the other ones that we haven't touched base with um, and kind of go over all of that. But really from starting today, and I would say then until the end of the week of the October 3rd, so from today till probably approximately Friday, October 7th to October 8th, we're going to have uh, sidewalk construction taking place in that mid block. Um, at the same time, um, we're probably going to here soon start the sidewalk construction on the last block of uh, Ashland as well. We were actually, it sounds like going to have two crews down here doing that. Um, so it's not going to slow down uh, the mid block at all, but I think we're going to be able to kind of just work to, to get those done here soon. So again, I would imagine over the next, I would say, two, three, four weeks, um, even on that one, we'll probably get into some sidewalk construction. But um, on that last block there between B and Buxton, anything that we do, we'll obviously talk to the affected businesses on that uh, once we come up with a plan. But I just wanted to kind of give a heads up that that's probably gonna be coming sooner uh, than later in that block. So then looking uh, forward to next week, uh, the paving of the Ashland and Buxton intersection will start now that we have all of the main lines done. Um, we're going to have the permeable pavers installed on Ashland between Buxton and B Street. Um, those are going to take place, I believe, next Monday. Um, and then, as we mentioned, just a lot of sidewalk construction going on. 
Um, same thing, looking forward to the week of October 3rd, more sidewalk construction. Um, and then here soon in these next couple of weeks, we're going to start um, doing some of our seating and sodding that is required in certain areas, especially along and around the Justice Center and down towards the B Street intersection. We're getting pretty close to the fall seating window closing. So um, it's uh, really important to try to get some of that stuff down uh, while we can still establish some grass seed inside uh, here before next spring. Um, and then just things that we're looking at in the future, um, again, continued removal and installation of sidewalks uh, pretty much everywhere, and we'll keep everybody up to date uh, on those, um, getting up electrical uh, and streetlight poles. Um, we have talked uh, on this uh, current phase of kind of moving the streetlight installation up. Uh, possibly a little bit. Uh, we know that the sun is going down earlier in the evening, um, and uh, we know that a few people have asked about that. So we're going to see if we can get those permanent streetlights in a little bit sooner than we have in the other phases. Um, but that's just really trying to get that all scheduled out and try to make sure that we're not having a bunch of subcontractors in each other's ways as we still uh, continue to get some of that sidewalk construction done. Uh, we always are, excuse me, we also have talked with Absolute about the possibility of um, getting one of the portable lights that we had last year as well around this time of year uh, down here if they do have one available. So they're looking into that as well. Um, that one's just a little bit different because somebody will have to turn it on and turn it off every night. But we, we, we did that last year and we made it work out. So we're uh, looking to possibly do that this year as well too. Um, and then signage, uh, there's some rain gardens in this phase that still need to be dug and installed and then um, pavement markings uh, will be done in the future as well. So really, I think um, just the, the big thing to get across this meeting is sidewalk struck or sidewalk construction is beginning, um, which it, it's, it's a little bit more of the disruptive phase, I will say to all the businesses, but um, We'll, we'll do what we can to, to keep everything good and, and you know as long as the rain and the weather and we don't run into too many surprises under the sidewalk all, all that stays pretty consistent um you know we should be able to to get in there take these sidewalks out get them formed up get them poured back here and cut um hopefully within you know the the five six day period in there sometimes maybe even a little bit sooner so um, we'll we'll keep communicating out to everybody uh, regarding those closures. Uh, and um, again, if there's any questions on any of this, be happy to answer it at this time. Or uh, feel free to reach out to me, uh, Tanner, or anybody at any time as well. I don't see anything in chat either, Charlie. Okay, well, again, um, especially these next couple of weeks as things come up and sidewalk closures happen again feel free to reach out ask any questions um, we'll try to communicate as much as we can to everybody kind of regarding when the closures are happening how long we think they're going to happen and then of course when we think we'll have everything back open up. Um, but uh, again, uh, just reach out if there's any questions. And if not, I uh, hope everybody has a good rest of your week and we'll see everybody next Wednesday. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie.